Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm going to try and put that password to use and get the white mask. Uh, as far as um, my goals for the upcoming area, um, we really want to work on Minnie and Toad now. Work on them every single battle. Uh, life, I'd like to get up to level 6, but it's not that critical. Uh, same thing with Berserk there. But uh, yeah, Minnie and Toad, absolutely critical. Gotta start working on them. Uh, I'd like to see them get up to level 5 by the time I get to the Mesidia Tower. Maybe level 6 if you can, but level 5 would be sufficient, so let's go. Now, I was watching TV this afternoon, and they got a commercial for the NBA Finals, and, of course, they're, they're showing clips of the epic battles between the Lakers and Celtics of years past. And, you know, that's that's all well and good, but what's with the music? I mean, it's like Goddard Damarung, World War III, the ultimate battle of good versus evil. And, I mean, I, I like basketball as much as the next guy, but, uh, newsflash, NBA, it's just a game. It's not the end of the world. This is the end of the world. Uh, where is it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, I gotta use the password here and get through. You know, now that I think about it, isn't that music, the, the same music they played during news commercials for their top story of the war with Iraq? You know, like, dun 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 You know? I mean, all you have to do is replace the dialogue with Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, Lakers versus Celtics, and you have the exact same thing. I mean, it's, it's not a war. Get over yourself. Okay, so we just take a couple hidden passages here. Sorry about uh, that rant there. I just got a little uh, excited about it, that's all. Okay, and we get some new equipment here. A gold shield and quartz plate, both of which I want to give to Layla there, so she can increase her evade there. And we get the quartz plate. Yay! Okay, now we gotta walk back because there's the, uh, the steps that I passed up which will take us to the basement of Finn Castle, where we should find the White Mask. And there's a few tough enemies here, but nothing to worry about. I might demonstrate a few of them. There's a room down to the left there, but it's empty, so we'll just go to the right first. And this chest contains a knife. Thanks. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks for making me walk all this way. Okay, we've got to backtrack a little bit and head to the northwest corner now. They better have some better treasure here. They do, eventually. And just some weak undead. The monsters will get stronger. Don't worry about it. Yep, more undead. They'll get stronger eventually, and we get an eye drop, which actually might be useful because those undead one of them can cast blind on you, so... But, uh, my magic defense is doing pretty good these days, huh? Yeah, they're having a hard time piercing my magic defense, so that's good. One more chest on this floor. Uh, yeah, it's down here. And it contains the clothes. Man, no wonder you guys lost the war. No wonder you needed us to get mithril for you. Oh, thank God I discovered the fast-forward feature on my emulator. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that chest up there. Oh, more potions! Yay! Okay, uh, yeah, we gotta head left next, so... I swear there's good treasure here! Okay, that was just a battle against a new enemy, Sucker. Um, I wanted to demonstrate it, but I killed it too quickly, so I figured I'd just to tell you after the battle. Uh, they can drain your MP with their physical attack, so you got to be careful against them. And I'm still waiting for that good treasure. It's got to be here somewhere. That's just an empty room. Okay, here we got a couple new enemies. You see, Brain is the yellow guy and Changer is the pink guy, so you get it? Pinky and the Brain? Huh? Huh? Ah, whatever. I thought it was funny. 
But anyway, both of them can cast, uh, I think both of them can cast the change spell on you, or maybe it's just the changer, the pink ones, that can do it, but uh, I think they can both cast change, which swaps your stats with theirs, which is not good, <laughs> because they have less HP than you do. So, um, bra the brains can also cast, I think it's fog on you or something, which is the permanent version of mute, so you gotta, you wanna kill them pretty quickly. Um, I'll practice Minion uh, Toad later. I, I really got to kill these guys relatively quickly. So let's uh, take care of that. Um, yeah, let's just go Berserk on everyone. Oh, yay, we got a first strike. All right, that'll help out a lot. Okay, come on, Berserk takes forever. Oh, that's one thing I like about Final Fantasy 3. They fixed that problem. What, we didn't kill them? Uh, okay, let's try again. Um, yeah, what do I do now? I guess fire on one of them and send everyone on those other brains. Okay, I don't want this taking forever here. And apparently they're not bothering to cast change on me. There we go. I spoke too soon. You see, now he's down to 140 HP. That's no good. Okay, uh, well, I don't want to heal him, but eh, I suppose now is as good a time as any is to practice uh, those spells. Uh, yeah, go after him and him. There we go. Where have I seen those brains before? Or changers, or those little entrails coming out of the back of their heads. Uh, I've seen that somewhere before, but I can't quite think, put my finger on it. Eh, I'll figure it out one of these days. Uh, let's see. Do that. Attack. Attack. Did I practice Minion Toad already? I forgot. Oh, whatever. Fa oh, I was about to say fire, but that didn't work too well. Okay, let's try this again. What happened to you, Layla? Hmm. Huh. That didn't do too well. Okay, well, anyway, yay, Maria gained some MP, so... Okay, so there. But yeah, obviously Gaia gained some HP, so... You can see the power of the change spell for gaining stats, especially if you get it yourself. Cast it on goblins, guaranteed HP, MP gain. So, gotta watch out for those guys. And we get a Maiden's Kiss, which I don't think any enemy can toad you, but... Oh well. Yeah, this area is a little long, but we'll be okay. There's those stairs. Yeah, another nice thing about those suckers, it's a good way of gaining MP. <laughs> they just drain your MP like nothing. So, let's see, I'm just looking at my map here. Where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. That's just an empty room. Another empty room. Okay, let's get this. Game! Don't do this to me! Okay, we gotta head to the lower left corner next. Okay, that was just a battle against a new vanilla enemy, Mantis. Uh, fairly powerful, not quite as powerful as, uh, well, not nearly as powerful as Gigas is, but, uh, good enemies to gain HP on, so... <laughs> Let's keep going, then. All these doors are empty. Come on, let's at least get this treasure chest. It contains the flame shield. Yay, we want to give that to Maria. Just so you know, the difference between the elemental shields, um, there's no difference in defense or evade or anything like that. It just determines what element uh, they're going to be immune, well, not immune to, but it'll have the damage they take from those the given elements. So, um... You know, I mean, don't worry about it. I just like to distribute them so that each person is strong against a particular element. So that's how I distribute those shields. So, um, yeah, this looks like a good place to stop. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Next time, hopefully, I will get to the bottom of the basement and find the white mask. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.